In a career spanning almost 25 years, today's guest has sold over 3 million records in the UK, appeared in several West End hit musicals, and even got married to Kylie Minogue in one of the biggest TV soap opera weddings ever. He's back with his sixth studio album. It's a big welcome to Jason Donovan. Steph. Hello. Wow, how are you going? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. How are cool. you? Cool. Great. Good, that's what I like to hear. Happy to be here with Perfect. you, surrounded by candles. It's a lovely it's setting, a isn't it? It's a spiritual experience. I can feel the love. <laughs> yes, Jason, that's what I like to hear. Good. There's a lot of love in this room. Now, we're fast approaching the 25th anniversary of your music career which is exciting, it's a, a long time in music. Unreal, um, getting old. <laughs> you're not getting old, you're as young as you feel, Jason. Um, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Did you ever expect to be making music um, all these years later? Um, I, I, I did actually, <laughs> funnily enough, and uh, maybe I'm a bit disappointed that I haven't made more music. Made but, a lot. But I've done okay. Yeah. I think this is my sixth studio record. <laughs> I like to sort of point that out to people. Um, I'm not as prolific as some, but then again, I guess my career has sort of been diverse, um, having done, you know, um, theatre and, and television and uh, film and, and music and you know I'm just like a an entertainment sort of package. One man machine. Yeah. That's what you are. But <laughs> um, nice to be in the studio. Love recording. Do you know what I quite like making mistakes because when you sing in a studio it's not like when you go on stage you have to be sort of perfect. Yeah. So when you go in the studio you can actually sort of um, explore your craft and just let loose and sing and I love it. It's great. <laughs> um, now Jason. <laughs> so we're going to take things back to the very beginning. In your early career you were releasing singles at the same time as being in Neighbours. Uh, you were getting over 20 million viewers in the UK in Neighbours. Even shows like The X Factor doesn't get those figures nowadays. So what was that whole crazy timeline, well, being I a mean, star and being an actor in Neighbours at the same time. I think it's funny in the sense that, you know, I, I'm not saying certainly that, that um, you know, my time on Neighbours or Kylie's or, um, it, you know, was unique in the sense that it launched music careers, but we certainly um, were at a point where I guess music really understood the power of television and I guess shows like X Factor are a result possibly mm. of you know the power of television and, and what it can do to sell um, sell music. Those days are gone. I mean you know when you had uh, characters like Scott and Charlene we, we were watched by 20 million people a day for four years every day of the week. X Factor is on once a week to 10 million, 11 people, 11 million people. So you can sort of understand um, the currency. Um, but you know, I think for me personally, you know, music was always a, an option. And you know, you know, I, I'm an actor who sings, I suppose. Um, but it was a unique opportunity in Neighbours at the time to work with Stock Aiken Waterman. Kylie had obviously had her success. You know, it seemed. Why not? You know, my father's always said to me um, as a performer that you need to be uh, as versatile as you possibly can. And, um, you know, when, you know, music became an option for me in Neighbours, I, I just embraced it and went with them. Hey, I haven't looked back. I love a pop yeah. song. You know, I love pop music. I love Three and a Half Minutes. I loved Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. Jeez. At the time, I was like, you know, those sort of things are emotional journeys that even when you are, it, 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 it puts you in a time and a place music that no other medium can and that's what I fell in love with. And you can tell your own story, you can create your own sort of character. And mine was with, mine was a mullet head Australian <laughs> who couldn't dance and, uh, you know, um, you know, wear, wore ripped jeans and followed on from brass. I love that. But looked very cool. 
Unreal. The girls loved it. The mullet, the ripped jeans. Go hard. <laughs> uh, the on-screen romance between Scott and Charlene, played by yourself and Kylie, gripped the nation. And uh, do you still know all the words to your wedding theme song, Angry Anderson, suddenly? Steph, I have to disappoint you. <laughs> oh. I just don't. It's not something that I YouTube on a regular basis. <laughs> I just don't get off on it. Um, as much as probably, you know, most of my fans do. Yes, you know, they love it was it. a great song and and especially for you was a great moment and you know neighbors was a great TV series and Kylie's great I'm not too bad you know <laughs> it's all good but but um, you know I tend not to look back and you know I do you know what what is evident is you know as one moves forward and gets a little bit older just how unique uh, that was mm. you know that moment was those things don't happen very often in a lifetime, you know, and we were in the right place at the right time, enthusiastic, there was the chemistry, um, and, you know, along comes, you know, um, this musical music moment. Again, going back to what I said, you know, what people love about that is they remember where they were at that particular yeah. time and the characters that they fell in love with, um, you know, and that's the power of you know, music and art can stir those emotions and long may that, that live, you know, that's great. But I don't play <laughs> it regularly um, at the house. My wife, I think, would go nuts. <laughs> She'd say, get out! Yeah, more than that. <laughs> more than that? Yeah. You wouldn't be in that house anymore, No, Jason. and she'd take half. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Equal opportunities. There we go. Yeah, the right to bear arms. <laughs> Brilliant. What's next? Now it's fair to say that most people expected both you and Kylie to be fly-by-night stars, but you're still both selling records. You scored four UK number one singles, which is incredible, and you've had a lot of hit albums. So looking back over at your career, what would you say has been your highlight? Um, I think, um, you know, you, I, couldn't, I could not um, ignore the first record because that was a unique moment for me. And, particularly Too Many Broken Hearts. That came after, mm. especially for you, because that was a moment that broke me across Europe as well, and not just in England, where Neighbours was a success. It broke me in countries where I wasn't known as Scott. So it was a music, uh, it was a great song, and it stood up on its own. Um, you know, my, my uh, live work has, you know, carried me in good stead. You know, I think, you know, bearing in mind I was a pretty bad singer when I first started and I was good at miming on top of the pops. I had to go into the West End and do Joseph to sort of prove myself as a as a as a uh, a talent and I did that successfully, you know. And so my my uh, uh, my live work has carried me in good stead. Uh, that's why I guess I, I, I'm in lots of musicals and do that sort of stuff. You know, but in terms of career wise I hope, you know, uh, things are ahead of me, you know, I really do. Strictly was a great moment, mm. you know. I worked my butt off. <laughs> and learned some new moves. Learned some cheeky new... Some... Mm. <laughs> I learned some very cheeky moves. So if I see you out and about, I know to step away from the dance floor because Jason oh, is yeah. taking cha over. Cha-cha-cha, <laughs> you know, a bit of American smooth. Yes. A couple you can of teach me a thing or two, actually. Hey, listen. Why not? Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> now we're going to talk about this uh, sixth new album that you've got coming out very soon. But first, you want to check out one of your classics, Jason. Classic. You get to choose which classic we play right now out the following three. So, Too Many Broken Hearts, Hang On To Your Love, or Every Day. What would you like? It's got to be Too Many Broken Hearts. What a tune. Let's play it right now. Here we go.